Hey everybody, it's Sam Sierra Sark here, and welcome to Minecraft, the true love. Um, never heard of this game before, I just found it on Game Jolt. Um, so uh, apparently it's a, a dating simulator where you date the monsters of Minecraft, as we can see right here. That is a very seductive skeleton, so, uh, I don't know what's gonna happen here, but, you know, I love my weird ass dating simulator, so, I'm gonna play it anyways. Let's get started. You wake up in a forest. Well, this is odd. I was just sitting on my computer playing Minecraft a second ago. And now I... Wait a second. This is... Holy shit, this is Minecraft. I am in Minecraft. You decide to head over to a nearby cave to look for shelter. Arriving in a cave, you peek in but can't see much. Oh, this is lame. I can't see a damn thing. Let me try to get a closer look. Attempting to lean in more, you end up falling into the cave. Ow, my head. Great, I get magically transported into a dimension made of blocks and now I have a headache. Just when I think I'm having a good time, something always has to go wrong, even in alternate dimensions. You don't notice the girl standing in front of you until she coughs, catching your attention. Ahem! May I ask what the hell you're doing in my cave? <laughs> wow, that is a beautiful spider. Where's her extra eyes? Uh, what do I have to say to her? Uh, it's so hard to think with this pounding headache. Hey, I'm talking to you. Are you going to answer me or not? Oh, uh, sorry. I was just looking around and I kind of fell into your cave here. Heh, <laughs> that sounds gross. Likely story. Well, if you're going to be staying here for a while, I might as well tell you my name. My name is Spider. My family and I own most of the caves around here. What are you doing around these parts anyways? Like I said, I was just doing some exploring and kind of fell in. I wasn't meaning to do any harm. Well, okay, my parents are going to be home for a while. You want to get a little crazy? Beg your pardon? You kind of seem a little young, don't you think? Don't make fun of me, I'm 19, but I look shorter than other people. Besides, you don't look too classy yourself. I mean, we just met. I don't think we can really get crazy. Well, we can do whatever we want. It's not like there are really any laws or anything. I mean, if she is the age she says she is, I guess it wouldn't hurt to get a little comfortable with her. Okay, fine. I take your deal. Great, let's get started. I'm going to regret this, aren't I? She winks at you and pulls you back into a small opening, barely fitting both of you inside. See? I told you it'd be fun. I'm not going to confirm nor deny that. So that means you liked it then. I'll just take it as a yes. Fine. Okay, fine. I admit it. It was pretty good. Alright, I think you should start heading out. I'm going to work on getting myself cleaned up before my parents get home. Am I going to be seeing you again anytime soon? I don't know. Just head out. My parents won't want to see the two of us in this situation. Okay, bye, I guess. Before you leave, she grabs you onto your arm. Before you go, I just wanted to say... She pauses for a second. N never mind. I'll see you around sometime. Well, that was exciting, to say the least. As in, I wouldn't mind doing that again. Maybe with a different girl. I don't get it, though. Why was she a girl in the first place? Every mob in Minecraft is made up of blocks. While they're all... Anime, I guess is the word to describe her. As you ponder this question, you begin to start walking to a random direction. Looking up from your intense thought, you see you arrive in a swamp. Huh, how did I get here? You hear a faint noise of something you can't describe in your distance. All you can tell is that it's getting closer. You look around attempting to pinpoint the sound of the noise, but to no avail. You decide to sit down next to a tree and rest. After all, you did just have relations with the spider. You are awakened by a figure standing in front of you. You can't make out much since it's standing in front of the sun. Either way, you attempt to interact with the figure. Hello? Who's there? Well, hello there, cutie. I haven't seen you around here before. Jesus fucking Christ. Slime, baby. Look at them goo titties. Well then, another one. This should be good. Maybe I should be as weird as possible seeing how much these girls will do. Well, hello there, beautiful. Looking good. Really? You think so? Hells yeah, you're right. I must say, it's straight banging. Why don't you get a closer look? Maybe this was a bad plan. I'd love to. Say, we get back to your place? Who said we wouldn't do it here? She smells at you waiting for your next response. I mean, I've come this far. I guess I can't really give up at this point. Alright, hot stuff. If you're into that sort of thing, I'm all up for it. She smiles at you again, but this time for a sort of, sort of lust in her eyes. There's a short delay before she lunges at you. 
Both of you falling in the ground, things start to get steamy. So, did you like it or did you like it? I've kept the act up this long. No reason to stop now. I have to admit, it was pretty great. We should do that again sometime. I'd love to. Swing me, swing by by my place sometime if you want to do it again. I'll keep that in mind. I definitely want to see that nice rack of yours again. She winks and waves at you, walking into the distance, past a couple of trees and out of sight. You decide to stay still young so you continue your journey into the hell. Until you know who the hell, wait, until who the hell knows where. Okay. Huh, what's this hut doing here? As you come close to the hut, you see a girl, of course, sitting underneath it, attempting to shield herself from the sun. The hut also appears to have been hastily built. <laughs> so is this like STD the game? The block game? Uh, miss, would you want any help by any chance? Oh wow, zombie. Totally. Huh? Me? Oh no, I'm fine. Are you sure? You seem like you're a little distressed. You kneel down next to her, matching her gaze out into the ocean. It looks beautiful out there. She responds, ignoring your question. Yeah, it really does. Have you ever wondered how it feels? You pause and look at her. She stares back at you. How what feels? Nothing. I'm sorry. No, it's alright. You can tell me. No, I'd rather not. We just met and I don't want to take up your time. Okay, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Oh, uh, okay. Nobody's ever asked me, asked about her about herself before. She's clearly very nervous. Well, sometimes I like to just come out here before the sun rises and just look out over the ocean. It's really amazing. Just the waves lapping at the beach. Ugh. You patiently listen to what she has to say. Next thing you know, you two have been sitting here for what seems like hours. Just talking. Getting to know each other. Once she asks about you, you don't know how to respond. So where are you from exactly? Do I tell the truth? Do I lie to her? Would she even believe me if I did tell her the truth? Well, I come from a different dimension. As weird as that sounds, it's true. Ah, oh, this game is so shitty. This game is so shitty. You don't look very on fire, though. What? You said you're from a different dimension. You mean another, correct? No, I, I know. I, I come from a different world entirely. One, not like this one. Well, a little, but not a, a lot. First of all, there aren't really people like you there. There isn't anyone like you, as far as I know. Everything in my world is built for us. Well, there's some who do the building, others just live. She has been listening to your story the whole way through, obviously fascinated by the idea. That sounds like a really weird world, world. Here everyone has to either make do with what they have or go get it themselves. Is that what you have to do or do you have a family that helps you? She just stares at the floor. Something is on her mind. Are you okay? Was it something I said? I didn't mean to offend you. No, it's just that my family left me a couple years back. I've been stuck living on my own. My family's dead, dude. So are you. You take her hand gently. You've been able to live alright by yourself, though, haven't you? Somewhat, but... But what? I've never really met anyone like you before. Someone so caring and affectionate. Even for someone they barely even know. It's amazing, really. You're one of a kind. Stunned by what you said, you just stare at the ground, completely forgetting about the other two girls you've met previously. She's different from the rest. She's glad that you've been here for her the length of time that you have. As you continue to stare at the ground, you don't notice when she starts to shift around. You glance over at her as she throws her arms around you and starts to kiss you. Jesus fucking Christ, of course. This is how you get bitches on Minecraft, guys. Completely taken aback by what is unfolding, you instinctively wrap your arms around her and hold her tightly. I, I think I love you. Of course! You just met like five minutes ago. I'm in love! I, I love you too. Yeah, totally. She continues to kiss you as the sun slowly starts to set. The two of you lightly undress each other. Oh god. As you both put into a pitch blackness. Oh wow. Multiple hours pass. <laughs> Are you going to stay the night here with me? Knowing you don't have a choice, but also not wanting to be rude. You agree? Of course I will. You lightly kiss her as you both drift off into a peaceful sleep. Last night was amazing. I'm sorry I didn't really know what to do. It was my first time. Shit, did I? Well, it was about to happen. I can agree, it was pretty amazing. Well, I guess you should start to head out. Are you sure? After the night we spent together, I'm not sure if I want to leave. Yeah, I'm sure. We'll leave each other. We'll see each other again soon and be able to do it again now that I'm a little more experienced. She smiles at you and you smile back. So necrophilia is totally a thing here. Okay.
you wave and continue on off your adventure. After an excruciating long walk that leaves you in the night time, you come across a house with two signs on either side. House of a creeper, huh? Weird. Maybe I should go in and see if anybody's inside. Gee, I wonder if anyone's inside. You walk up and the door and peek in. There appears to be a kid. Of course! You know, just home invasion. Totally legal, guys. There appears to be a girl curled up in a ball on the bed, staring out at the window. You realize your mistake and quickly try to back out. The creak of the door alerts the girl to your presence. She gets up and runs up to you with amazing speed. Although, since the house was so small, her feet seemed to a lot spe less spectacular. Who are you? How did you get here? I purposely built this house as far away from people as possible. I, uh, I was lost and was looking for somewhere to spend the night. Somehow I don't believe you. <laughs> but sure, I'll let you crash here. You seem cool enough. Of course! Home invasion? Let him in! <laughs> I'm Creeper, if you didn't realize it from the signs outside. I'm not much of a people person, but you seem kind of cute, so I don't mind you. So I must be one handsome motherfucker. Oh great, this again. Listen, this might sound crazy, but I've had sex with about three girls in one day. I'm not really in the mood right now. What? I didn't mean- No, I'm so sorry if you thought. Realizing what you just said, you quickly try to apologize. No, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sorry. You're really hot and I just really messed up. I didn't mean to say that. I feel like such an idiot now. I'm s- It stops you just before you finish your sentence and playfully pushes you against the wall, trapping you in the corner. What the fuck is going on? I might have apologized, but that doesn't mean I don't still want some of you to myself. She looks at you with- Oh, Jesus Christ. She looks at you with almost the exact same form of lust in her eyes as Slime did. I remember it as if it was yesterday. It wouldn't hurt for one more tonight. But how about I take the lead on this one? You take her wrist and push, and push you upwards the bed with a dubious look on your face. She stares back at you with the same look and nods towards you. You shut the door behind you and make your way towards the bed. As you get closer, she grabs your crotch and- What the fuck? Smirks at you with the same devious look. You ready or what? <laughs> hey, baby girl, want some fuck? <laughs> Hell yeah! Many hours pass. The sun slowly starts to rise over the horizon. Huh? Oh, hey, good morning. Oh, yeah, good morning. You can leave whenever. I'm just gonna chill out here. Okay, we'll see you then. Turn to leave, but the door won't budge. You move out of the way as Zombie walks in. Oh hey, what are you doing here? I was about to ask you the same thing. Hi Zombie, what are you doing here? Zombie just stares at Creeper, trying not to stir at- Well, you know. Might I ask why the- You quickly intervene. Hey guys, why don't we all just relax for a minute? Let's just take a step back and look at all this from a different angle. No, how about you explain to Zombie what happened? Zombie looks to you in the eye. A sharp pain goes through you. She looks back at Creeper. Uh, nothing happened between us. Nothing at all. Creeper looks at you. The same pain goes through you again. This time more painfully. A fire lights up in Creeper's eye. Is she gonna explode? Oh, okay, she's not gonna explode. We fucked, alright? I figured. Zombie runs out the door and slams it behind her, trying to hold back tears. What the hell? I didn't know dead things could still cry. Now I get to keep you all to myself. She grabs on your arms and pulls you towards her. Let go of me. She gives you a look of, oh, look of pleading. You yank your arm free from her and run out to the door. Now all of a sudden you like a zombie? You were fucking everything else. You're perfectly fine with it. And now all of a sudden you're in love with a zombie. Oh my god, you're gonna get married? You can't find zombie. You run to the extent of your ability and arrive at Spider's Cave once again. Of course. He decided to head down into the cave to see if Spider has seen Zombie. Of course. Spider, hello! I need to talk to you! Get the fuck out of here. You hear Spider shouting at you from a distance. You come around the corner to see Spider with the arm around Zombie. Zombie has tears in her eyes. When Zombie sees you, she walks up to you. Her eyes appeared. She doesn't want to talk to you. Now just leave. Both you and Zombie, ignoring Spider's claim, you stare at each other. What feels like an eternity to you passes. You maintain eye contact with Zombie. Tears start to form in her eyes again. How could you do that to me? I thought what we had was special. You stayed there with me. I stared deep. I shared deep secrets with you. And then you do that. Zombie, I... Shut the fuck up, man. She doesn't want to hear any lies. Shut your fucking mouth, you whore. Jesus Christ. You lash out at a spider. 
You can feel tears forming in your own- Why would you- Ugh, spider stays silent. This is a poorly written story. This is very poorly written. This is- I'm having trouble playing this game. How many others have you done it with? How many others are you planning on doing it with? I don't want to do it with any more girls. <laughs> you probably still will. <laughs> okay. Hello? Slime's voice shoots down the cave a few moments later. She's there with the rest of you. This whole situation is getting worse and worse. Are you guys really that blind? He's fucked all of us. He probably didn't even care about any of us. Shut your mouth, you little whore bitch. I don't want to hear any more of your stupid shit out of your giant mouth. Way to defend yourself, bro. Without thinking, your hand raises. Time seems to stand still. A couple moments later, all you feel is pain in your hand. Spider is on the ground with tears in her eyes. She has a mark. Oh, did you just... What the hell? Oh god, this is a horrible game. Zero out of ten. Like, I want to, like, leave. This is a shitty fucking game. Zombie and Slime are sitting next to her, consoling her. Zombie gives you that same painful look. Ugh. You can't take it anymore. You have to get out of there as fast as you can. You run out of the caves as fast as your legs can take you. If you see them all at all again, it will be soon. You continue running past the hut, past the swamp, past Creeper's house. You pass out because of the exhaustion, of course. You spend weeks away from people, living off the land. You don't interact with anyone. Someone comes along the path that you took weeks before. They have been looking for you. They found a body in the ocean by a hut. They wanted to see if you could identify the body. Don't tell me! Did Zombie kill herself? <sighs> you follow them back to the same hut you first met Zombie. They have a stretcher out there. A stretcher? She's a zombie. She's been dead, guys. You don't need a stretcher. They don't have stretchers in Minecraft. She turns into a bunch of items. They have a stretcher out that has a body on it with tarp over the body. They slowly pull back the tarp. You're greeted with that same face of the girl that you met almost a month back. The girl who trusted you. The girl who loved you. It's thought that it was a suicide. Are you able to tell us who this girl is? It's... It's zombie! Oh! Tears falling down my face! Yes, of course. You start sobbing! Sobbing turns to crying! Soon there are people all around you trying to confront you. Or comfort you, whatever. Don't worry, she's in a good place now. Well, I don't know where Minecraft monsters go when they die. That doesn't change the fact that it was my fucking fault. No, the zombie was a little bitch. If I wouldn't have come here in the first place, you wouldn't have gotten attached to her. None of this would have happened. Yeah, you're a dick. It isn't your fault. She left a note. It was directed to you. They hand you an unopened note. And I can't read any of that. Awesome. Is this the end? I don't know. Oh. What? Wow. 10 out of 10. Best game ever, guys. Would we'll play again. Yep, so this is... Minecraft the... Yeah, I don't even want to talk about this game. What is it called? Minecraft the... True Love or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. This was a mistake. I thought this would be funny. It's just trash. 10 out of 10, guys. All your secrets. If you really look at yourself, you will be speechless. What happened to being doctors and teachers? What happened to being your brother's keeper? Nowadays, kids more worried about...